Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Um, we're doing a lot of videos now to help you guys weather through the uh, quarantine coronavirus bullshit. And um, if you guys got some free time and you're off of work or you're home with kids or whatever it is, rest assured the guys at Texas Toast are going to be bringing you lots of videos while you're, <laughs> unless one of us gets sick. So today we're going to do some more videos from the paint booth because, you know, the paint booth is up and running. And um, I promised you guys paint booth videos and I promised you videos. So here we are. What we're going to do today is we're going to do some uh, base coats with uh, automotive paint and then spray clear on top of that. So Chris is going to walk us through what he does and then you're going to see it in action. So enough of the bullshit talk. Let's get busy. So this is a color called uh, Tahitian Coral. It's a... 50s GM color that they used on on uh, cars and Fender used it occasionally. I think most people are scared of it because it's pretty pink. We saw a cool. What was it? A uh, 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 what? What kind of car was it that had the pink or that coral with the a, white and the chrome? Yeah, it was a '56 uh, Pontiac Star Chief. It so was stuff, rad. You mix this stuff one part paint to one and a half parts reducer. So I'm going to mix, I'm going to put two ounces of sealer, of sealer, of paint, of color, and then four ounces of uh, reducer. And it makes me feel better if I think of this as coral and not pink. I think pink guitars are cool. Well, I like pink, yeah, too, but I like, I like the idea that the color is not called pink. Remember that Adrian Ballou song where his daughter asked him when he's going to get the pink guitar? <laughs> no. <laughs> the cool part about using automotive color, I think, is everything is available. Yeah. It's, it's, you don't have to mix it. You don't have to order it. You can just go get, well, you can order it, but it's so much easier to come by. It's, it's just so available that it's just easy to get. Yep. And it's seemingly any color from any time period is like good to go. Yeah. Yeah. The world is your oyster in automotive urethane. So yeah, what, what kind of paint is this? A lot of people are gonna go, is that poly? Is that nitro? This is a urethane base coat clear coat system. So this is a urethane. So it means you have to put clear on top of it? Uh, this is a base coat, yes. So you have to put clear coat on it to make it any kind of durable. It sprays on, it dries pretty flat. Okay. And it's designed to have something shot over the top. Cool. All right. We're gonna strain it and use my trusty little gun. I have to fill this thing a couple times. Uh, and you strain it just just in case there's any dust or dirt or anything like that. Extra precautions. So I already laid down a coat of, of white earlier today so that the uh, coral will cover better.
the next day. You can even see I got a different shirt on and I'm able to touch these guitars with my hands because the paint is dry. So get a load of this. This is that uh, Tahitian coral. Some of you might call it pink. Um, and I guess you'd be right, but man, this is a cool color, you guys. Um, you can dig how neat this would be with a, uh, a nice parchment pick guard and a maple neck. Yeah, I think Adrian Blue would even rock this one. So Chris actually bought that color for this SG refinish that he did. Now, for some of you who don't know, uh, Yamaha also made an SG besides the other company that makes them that you might be familiar with. But this is one from the, uh, the early 60s, and uh, this is one that Chris is sort of bringing back to life with some uh, refinements that may not have been available on this model back in the day. But this is a cool guitar too, and this also a super neat color. I'm not sure if um, you, know, you would see this on the stage with Frank Zappa or King Crimson, but maybe. So hey guys, uh, if you have any questions about what we did in this video, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want to deep dive into this kind of stuff with me, you can always send me an email through the website, and that's texastoastguitarist.com. If you would like to come and take a class with us and uh, learn how to paint stuff like this or build stuff like this or any of this other stuff, you can also sign up for classes on the website. Um, let's see, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button. It looks like a gun, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> Let's see, if you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member, because even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys cool stuff like this from our new paint booth. But if you can't do Patreon, we totally get it. Um, there's no paywall to watch these videos, but if you would like to help us grow the channel, you can share this video as many places as you can think of, and that really, really works. So, until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh,